Lintec. Convincing advantages in asphalt batch mix technology. With its headquarters in Germany and a subsidiary in Singapore, Lintec is engaged in batch mix asphalt plant technology with roots in asphalt processing equipment going back to 1921. Nowadays, Lintec concentrates on asphalt plant engineering and development for worldwide markets. Plants delivered just within the last few years are installed in Siberia, China, Taiwan, Singapore, Thailand, Poland, Germany, and Denmark. The coverage of Asia-Pacific markets is quite extensive, thanks to the well-located Singapore subsidiary. Sales, service, and spare parts support can be affected very quickly from Singapore for these markets. Further, Lintec's patented double screening process is fast gaining popularity, positioning the company very well for future growth. Since 1987, Lintec has concentrated mainly on development in asphalt process technology by reinvesting its yearly profits into research and development, accumulating a substantial knowledge in the process itself and its determining factors. The Lintec office is located in Hollenstedt near Hamburg in northern Germany. Hamburg is Germany's premier export location and gateway to world markets where old trading tradition and high-tech meet. Here we find one of the largest container ports in Europe. A well-equipped and efficiently run office with well-trained personnel serves to handle all of our customers' calls and inquiries. Equipped with the latest computer technology and advanced CAD programs, Lintex engineers have developed three different types of plants. The stationary type LSD. the mobile type MSD and as the latest product launched in April 1995 the containerized type CSD. In a factory with modern facilities and heavy industry 450 workers are always at disposal for fast high quality steel fabrication and assembly work. On the drying drum the conveying channels welded to the outside of the drum tube work like an over-dimensional screw conveyor covered by screens. The containers are all completely equipped, pre-cabled and tested in the factory. Oversized grills on top of the cold hoppers are standard. The latest in asphalt plant technology is Lintex containerized screen drum batch mix asphalt plant. The capacity of the different models ranges from 100 to 150 tons per hour. The containerization of the plant system offers three main advantages low transport costs, easy and quick erection and commissioning within only three days, no concrete foundation, as well as several other advantages.
Low transport costs are achieved by constructing all tower levels and components of the asphalt plant in standard ISO dimensions for ocean freight containers. Transporting goods in standardized container boxes revolutionized the exchange of goods worldwide. Nowadays, this method of shipment achieves the lowest possible cost in any means of transportation. Due to these advantages and the short transfer times, many ports are not served by conventional ships anymore. If there is a need to ship goods of non-container size into these ports, extreme costs arise due to the extra charges for over width, over height or over length of the goods on container flat racks. Therefore, the future for processing plants and machinery that need to be moved frequently intercontinentally during their lifetimes is for them to be built in ISO container dimensions. Achieving this with the Lintec plant means the fast and efficient container handling equipment available in practically every part of the world can be used for the shipment of the complete asphalt plant. Therefore, the lowest possible transport costs can be achieved. No matter if transport is preferred by rail, ship or truck, the handling is always easy and inexpensive. Besides mobility, containerization also provides several other advantages. The lifespans of components such as the air compressor, motors, switches, cables, pumps, the burner and so forth will be much longer because all of these are sheltered. This means lower maintenance costs, less downtime. The modular design ensures accuracy and speed when assembling or dismantling the plant. Very little cabling and related work are required at the site, since all cables are pre-installed in the containers and utilize the plug-in method for connections between containers. A quick and easy erection of the plant is possible through a standardized system developed through the experience gained from deliveries in the past. The plant consists of two main towers, the drying and mixing tower and the filter tower. Each tower starts at level two and extends three levels high. All equipment in these two towers is built into 40-foot containers. There are walkways at each level for easy access and maintenance. Security is a major consideration since most of the time asphalt plants are located in remote areas. A Lintec containerized plant provides better security against theft and vandalism. Just lock the main door to the control room and the entire plant is out of bounds. For most conventional plants, everything is exposed and unsecured. Having arrived at the site, the containers are being inspected by the customer. After advising the local staff, the erection of the complete tower takes only one day. No concrete foundation is necessary if the surface is leveled, compacted and graveled and the ground pressure is above 100 kN per square meter. Tower erection starts by laying the 20 steel foundation plates, each weighing 230 kg and covering an area of 1 square meter. For direct truck loading, height clearance under the mixer outlet of 3.8 meters can be achieved by lifting the complete tower with three half-height 20-foot support containers on top of the foundation plates locked into position by dowel pins. Next step, the 20-foot bitumen tank with a capacity of 20,000 liters is lifted into position. For the stability of the tower, it is necessary to place a strengthened 20-foot container next to it. As the last container for the ground level, the control cabin is placed in position. It contains the main power distribution panel, the computer for process control, as well as the staircase to get to level one. During transportation, the container is used to store the walkways of the three levels, the throw belt and miscellaneous other parts. The walkway connects the filter and the mixing tower container at each level in order to achieve a sturdy construction and to provide easy access. The first of the 40-foot containers in the filter tower is empty and used to raise the bag filter house to drying drum level and the filler hopper to hot bin level to be able to transport the filler by a horizontal screw conveyor from the hopper to the scale. 
A butterfly valve ensures exact delivery of filler into the scale from this horizontal screw. Before stacking the containers and for effective distribution of the dynamic forces during the operation of the plant, the gaps between the containers are filled by distance plates. The first 40-foot container of the filter tower incorporates the staircase for level two. In the next step, the weighing and mixing container is lifted into position. Besides the three scales and the mixer, the necessary bitumen piping and thermal oil heater and the electrical cabinet, complete with all cabling for the equipment in this container, are also pre-built and tested. The walkway is lifted to connect the containers and provide stability to the tower. To avoid noise transmission between containers, a special vibration absorbing rubber plate is laid under each connection. The next level is started with the 25 cubic meter recuperated filler silo. The control cabinet to control the screws, the filter cleaning process and the fan is built in. The next container in the mixing tower is the hot bin section. It contains four hot bins with pneumatically operated outlet gates, the electrical cabinet for the hot bin and drying drum unit, as well as the compressor and air tank unit. Cable connections to the drying drum motors and burner are all by push-pull plugs. For inspection and maintenance of the outside bearings of the outlet gates, a balcony is mounted before lifting this container. The filter tower is finished by lifting the bag filter house in place. The mixing tower construction is completed by lifting the drying and screening drum unit. It is the heaviest of all containers, weighing 24 tons. A second 60-ton crane is required for lifting. For an optimal flow of aggregate through the drum, a 4-degree inclination of the drum is necessary. The sand separator is fitted to the drum exhaust gas outlet. In order to convey the separated sand from this separator into hot bin number one, the sand screw is mounted parallel to the drum. The screen covers must be removed for transportation in order not to exceed the width of 2.5 meters. After the tower is finished, the throw belt, folded for transportation, is placed with its top end in the extraction head of the drying drum. It operates at an inclination angle of up to 30 degrees. The completely equipped and cabled cold feeding section is converted from transport to operation mode by lifting the walkway for hopper grill inspection. 
and by unfolding the top of each hopper. By separating the asphalt plant into its functional modules and by containerizing these, all components are pre-cabled and tested before shipment. The internal flights for lifting the aggregate inside the drying drum are all bolted for easy replacement. The four drum drive motors are connected by push-pull plugs for faster assembly and dismantling. The bag filter is designed for easy maintenance access. The bags are made of high temperature resistant 400 grams per square meter virgin Nomex material and cleaned by reverse airflow. To avoid collapsing the bags under vacuum, these are stiffened by internal aluminum profiles which form a cage. The recuperated filler silo, located directly under the bag filter, is equipped with continuous level indication using the capacitive measurement method. The electrical control is decentralized. Each container is equipped with its own electrical cabinet, including the remote I.O. controller and Siemens PLC rack for the computer control. From these electrical cabinets, all cables are laid through cable trays and connected to the respective motors, indicators, and so forth. The compressor unit with air dryer, 1,000 liter pressure tank, and pneumatic distribution and oiling system are installed in the hot bin container. The pneumatic pipes are all pre-installed to the cylinder using only screwed connections. The necessary piping, valves, and flanges to connect the integrated 20-ton bitumen tank to the mixer level are pre-installed in the factory. According to the customer's wishes and rules or restrictions in the country in which the plant will be used, the bitumen system can be heated by either electrical resistance or thermal oil. The bitumen filter, supply pump, three-way valve, scale, and injection pump are all installed, connected, and pressure tested prior to shipment. Two types of filler and one additive can be cumulatively weighed in the filler scale. A twin shaft counter-rotating pug mill mixer is installed and lined with replaceable Nyhard wear plates. After only one day of erection and approximately two additional days for commissioning, the plant is ready for operation. The CSD 2500 can produce up to 150 tons per hour in 2,500 kilogram patches. The computer control consists of two independent PCs, one for the process logic control with all the settings and recipes, as well as manual or automatic operation of the plant. An alarm log displays any problems in clear text on the screen. The second PC mimics the ongoing process, showing all operations in color graphics. Every batch can be printed out the PCs are interchangeable in the unlikely case of a computer breakdown. To maximize output and flexibility, the optional mixed material silo should be added. As the most recent development, a 100-ton silo, also containerized in three 20-foot and one 40-foot container, is available. We at Lintec are committed to the highest standards in engineering and product development, now and in the years to come. We ensure environment-friendly equipment in order to mix road-making materials to build roads, taking us all safely into the future.